So in this video, we are going to talk about another C programming exercise. What we are going to do is that we are going to take a number from the user and then we are going to calculate the factorial of it. But the thing is that we are not just going to find the factorial of it using the loops. Rather, we are also going to use the recursion method to find the factorial of a given number. So let's start off. The very first thing that you want to do is that you want to create a variable to store the input from the user and then prompt the user to input the number. After that, store that number inside the variable that you have just created. Now it's time to calculate the factorial. So how do you actually calculate the factorial? Well, if you have the number 5, then the factorial would be 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. So basically, you take the number and multiply it by number minus 1 until you reach 1. So let's write the for loop for this program. So for let's create an iterator variable and let's start it off from where we have the number. And then we want to execute this for loop until our number or our iterator number is greater than 0. And then for each iteration, I want to decrement this iterator variable. Also, I want to create another variable to store the result. So I'm going to call it factorial and I'm going to give it an initial value of 1. Because if I give it an initial value of 0, then that would ruin my whole equation. So coming back inside the for loop, I want to type the equation factorial is equals to factorial multiplied by i. So this should give us our factorial. Now the last thing that is left to do is to print out this factorial to the screen. So I'm going to use a printf statement. So this should give us our factorial. So I'm going to run this code and we are going to give it a number 5 and the answer should be 120. So there you go. The factorial of the number 5 is 120. Now this was the normal method of calculating the factorial. But we want to do it with the recursion technique as well. So I'm going to create another function over here and the return type of that function is going to be integer. I'm going to call it factorial and this function is going to take the number from the user. So we know that the factorial of 1 is 1 and the factorial of 0 is also 1. Now why did I write this? Basically when you're working with recursion, you're simply creating a stack. So what would happen would be that I would take the factorial of the number by simply taking the number and multiplying it with the factorial of the number behind it. This is going to create a stack until the number which is passed to this function would be either 0 or 1. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to create the condition if the number is equals to 0 then simply return the value 1. Otherwise return the number multiplied by the factorial of the number behind it. Now let's try to dry run this. So let's say we are given the number 5. What happens is that it comes over here, it checks whether the number is 0 or not. It says it's not 0 and then it goes inside the else statement and returns 5 multiplied by factorial of 4. In the next step, it's actually 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by factorial of 3. And then again in the next step, it's 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 into factorial of 2. Until it reaches the number 1, it becomes 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. So this is how the recursion stack would work. So let's test it out. So in the main function, I'm simply going to take the number from the user and then I'm going to comment out all of this code. I'm simply going to create a variable for result and I'm going to set it equal to the function that we have just created. And in the function, I'm going to pass in the number that we took from the user. And then I'm going to print out this number or the factorial of that number onto the screen. So let's try executing this code. So it is asking us for the number. So I'm going to put in as seven and the result is 5040, which is indeed the factorial of 7. So that was it for this very short programming exercise. 